Good morning, Command Zone faithful. How's it? My name is not Josh Lee Kwai. I am Jimmy, and I am all the way here in wonderful, beautiful New Zealand. And the sun is just rising. It's 7 a.m. And I'm about to drive three hours to go to a pre-release. Okay. Well, fortunately, they have cars here in New Zealand. And also, I always forget that the driver is on the other side of the car. Wah! <sighs> Let's get this show on the road. So while on the production of Mulan, I met a few extras and they came up to me and said, Hey, uh, I listen and watch the Command Zone podcast. I love game nights and I freaked out. I had no idea that we had fans all the way over on this side of the world. And the guy that came up to me, Anthony, asked, Hey, are you going to go to the Guild of Ravnica pre-release? And I thought about it and said, Well, I don't think there are any nearby. We're sort of in the middle of the South Island of New Zealand. Literally stuck between three of the major cities down here. Hours away from all of them. So I don't know if I will, but I'd love to. Did a little research. Turns out the closest pre-release is in Dunedin, which is a small city three hours away from where we are. So I said, damn, yeah, screw it. Let's do it. So here I am, 7 a.m. on my way through the depths of Mordor itself to go pick up the boys and grab some coffee. And we are off to play some Guilds of Ravnica, hopefully open some sweet cards, win some games, and have a blast. Excuse me! <laughs> guys! Excuse me guys, we got a pre-release to go, dude. Alright, we're about 30 minutes out of Dunedin. Dunedin? Dunedin? Dunedin. Dunedin, Dunedin sorry. <laughs> what guild are you going to be playing today at the pre-release? Hey guys, the name's uh, Anthony, and I'm going to play Izzet today. Oh, is it, is it the right choice? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Alright. <laughs> Jumping out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> Dangerous! G'day mate, my name's Zhu Young. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to be playing Demir. Ooh, nice. Demir today. Hey guys, I'm Dylan. I'm going to be playing Silesnia. I'm going to probably be playing Boros because it has red in it. I have to uphold my reputation. Uh, in a few words, in three words, what is your guild all about? Go. Jumpstart. Do more. <laughs> do more? That's four <laughs> words. That makes sense though. You said do more. About killing things, being sneaky, and doing better things than scry. <laughs> Surveil? Okay, very yeah. nice. <laughs> Big green things. Yeah, that sounds about right too. And I guess Boros is just punch many faces. Um, are you guys excited for Gills of Ravnica? That's why we are we, using I mean, our one day off. One yeah. I'd be more excited, but like I know. 3 a.m. starts. Yeah, what, yeah what, what's the average time that you all woke up last week from Monday to Saturday? Like, like, Three o'clock. Three o'clock? How long does it take you to get to set? Like one and two, two, two hours at most. Oh, gosh. One and a half hours. So, so including <laughs> travel time, it's about 15 hour work day, six days Ooh. a week. Jesus. This is our one day off. <laughs> and we, all and we are driving up. three hours to Dunedin with some magic the gathering. Nerds! <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Steven Steven. Cool. What's the name of the store? Uh, Steel Gaming. I've had the shop for uh, almost a year and a half. How big is the scene in Dunedin? It's pretty big. Like uh, for draft, we usually get one and a half, maybe two pods. Really? Night, That's so. better than a lot of places in LA. Yeah. <laughs> so you do a pack wars before every purely. So how did that get started? Um, it was just something that I, I saw online that uh, uh -huh. people were playing pack wars, and I was like, oh yeah, I could put that in pre-release and give away another boost off. Yeah, that's a great incentive. Um, and then you guys also have a pizza party before every pre-release. I used to supply small bags of chips and cake and stuff, but um, since uh, the store has grown so much, so I just upgraded into nice. Pizza. Since I started, I'd probably say the community's grown like 300. percent Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Have you played pre-release yet? No. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't. you don't get to as the store owner. Oh, it's the no. saddest. Stop. Thanks, man. Too easy. Okay, I was gonna vlog myself eating pizza, but I literally ate it before <laughs> I even had the presence of mind to take my camera out. And as you can tell, pizza party is an incredible success. 
Not a single piece left. I will say the first pizza to disappear of all these boxes had pineapple on it. Deal with it. That's uh, one point for New Zealand, zero points for all the haters. Thank you everyone for coming to today's pre-release. Main thing is to have fun. If any of you guys after the match think that your opponent can improve their deck, please offer some suggestions. We're all here to learn. As a lot of you might know, we have a special guest in today, uh, Mr. Jimmy Wong. Hello. Hey. Hey. Uh, uh, thank you for coming to his store. <laughs> I'm really excited for you guys because I didn't think that I'd be able to find a pre-release on South Island. But we drove three hours to get here today, so I'm very excited. Um, the guilds of Ravnica are here, and players at this pre-release choose from one of five guilds. You get five booster packs from the expansion, as well as one special pack representing the guild you chose, as well as a premium foil card to build your deck with. I got Hajik, Legion's Edge. This guy's gonna do work for me. When I play in the pre-release or sealed event, the first thing I do is crack every pack and sort the cards by color, artifact, or multicolored, just to keep things nice and organized. Then I'll go through and see where my best cards are and which direction I'm pulled in. For this set, something to keep in mind are these series of cards with hybrid mana costs. Even though these are meant to be for specific guilds, because it's a hybrid cost, you can actually play them in a deck that plays either of those colors. Now, because we had special packs in this pre-release that represented our guild, I had a great collection of cards in red and white. So I built an aggressive Boros deck that wants to get in and smash face. Here's a breakdown. Because I'm aggressive, I'm prioritizing my most powerful one in two drops. These cards are evasive, have utility later on, and some can even end games by themselves. Now normally, you wouldn't play a card like Healer's Hawk, but let's take a look at the three drops to understand why it's in the deck. Mentor. This new keyword ability in Guilds of Ravnica allows me to attack with my creatures and buff up my smaller ones, making them potentially huge threats in an aggressive deck. So the more targets for Mentor I have, the better off I'll be. I don't have many cards in the 4, 5, and 6 drop slots, and that's because the last the last thing an aggressive deck wants is an opening hand full of cards they can't play on turns 1, 2, and 3. These guys have pretty strong abilities though, so they made the cut. For my non-creatures, I've got a suite of removal here, from combat tricks like Take Heart to Lockdown enchantments like Luminous Bonds, and our first instance is a special split card like Response and Resurgence. These cards are great because they're cheap to cast early on, and if you have enough mana in the late game, they can still be really powerful. My last two cards are fun ones. Experimental Frenzy is just crazy and limited, and I got to use this to play anywhere from two to four extra cards a turn from the top of my library and overwhelm my opponent. Cosmotronic Wave won me the most games by far, by either getting rid of blockers down the road or allowing me to swing in for the win out of nowhere. Once you're done building your 40 card deck, shuffle up and get ready to play. But before we do, let's take a look at just who's representing each of the guilds in today's pre-release. We played four rounds today, so let's check out just how well I did against each player. Represent. Oh, yeah. Representing yeah. Auckland? Yeah. Nice. You came to the South Island and you stole all their booster packs. You guys both went 4 0. -oh. So nice job. That was pathetic, actually. <laughs> That was ow. <laughs> Much better. All right, we finished one pre release, and like the degenerates we are, we're going to another one at a different store. Uh, that was the last one at Steel Gaming. By the way, great LGS. Definitely check them out if you're ever in Dunedin. Everyone that ran the place was super nice. Not to mention, these guys went 4 0. These guys, these guys, I know. I, I, I call Ray. <laughs> and good job to Dylan as well. Yes, good job. Good effort. Welcome to the Mega Zone. Enter the zone. Mega zone. There is a lot going on in here. You can be an archer? What? This is so cool. Our second pre release was only three rounds, and we were exhausted by this point, but it was a super fun time. I sadly went one and two, but I built a really fun, sneaky Demir deck, and it was capped off with a promo of the new Lazav, who I definitely want to build an EDH deck around. Any ideas for how I should approach it? Okay, it's 7 13 p.m. We have played seven rounds of Magic the Gathering. Why are you shaking your head? Because well, okay, now that we both, well, did you win your last round? Uh, yeah, I did. All right, I one did. and two on the day for us. How many did you win? Um, what was it? Five? Five, five and two, not bad. And? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I got annihilated. Look, it's not about the winning record. It's about how much fun you had. All right. 
right. It's time for a three hour drive back. That does it for this uh, New Zealand vlog. Good job guys, we did it. We wasted our entire day playing Magic the Gathering instead of resting. And what time is everyone's call tomorrow? 3.30. Yeah. 6.15. Uh, yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> I'm spoiled. All right, peace out. Ladies, bye. 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 Now moving on to the end step where we talk about something outside the world of magic. Yeah, that's right. You didn't think this was coming up, right? Ooh, you watched to the end of the video. Congrats. Leave a comment if you did. I'm looking at you. So today at the end of the pre-release, things were kind of winding down. One of the guys uh, asked me, hey, Jimmy, is it, does it ever get overwhelming um, when people come up to you, when they say hi, when they ask for pictures, autographs, yada, yada, all that stuff. And I said, no, not really. Like, it's just something you, you kind of get used to. It's not, it never really bothers me because, you know, for me, it's just, it's, I'm very honored that someone would even want that, if that makes sense. Like, I grew up very much not a really popular person, uh, and I always looked way too young for my age, so I never felt like I really ever fit in uh, all the way into college. So having this sort of recognition at this point in my life is obviously very validating, and it's something that I just kind of honors me every time it happens. And I'm always very happy to take pictures, very happy to say hi, record a video, do whatever, as long as I'm you know not in a rush and time permits. Um, but it got me thinking because. Uh, I've been an actor now in Los Angeles and I guess now in New Zealand and across the world since 2011, 2010 technically, and um, I've done all sorts of jobs. And so the guys that we were with today are on as extras on the movie, and so what that means is that they are uh, working in the background, they are other people that are alongside with us that fill up the world that you see. And I've done extra work, I've done a lot of extra work, and it is not necessarily the most gratifying or fun thing in the world to do. Sometimes you're for hours at a time doing nothing or sitting in one place and fake talking to someone that you don't know. The thing is, like whenever I did extra work, I was always in the comfort of being inside, indoors, uh, warm, and usually pretty comfortable. And in my downtime, I'd read a book or something. Um, and the thing about this film is that we are filming in New Zealand in the wintertime, in the South Island, and we're very close to Antarctica, and it is cold, and it is hard, and the conditions are not easy for anyone. So when I got asked that question, I started thinking about why, you know, it meant so much to me to be able to hang out with these guys and interact with them outside of just on set when you don't really get the chance to talk to people and things are busy and you want to stay focused on your work and all that. It's because I've gone through the grind of what it is to be an extra, to be background talent, and I know just how hard it is. But it's really different on this film because everyone is here and everyone has been working their butts off and braving the elements alongside the rest of us. And that sort of kind of in a weird way ties back to why I love doing magic content, being in the community and stuff, because it's about this group feeling that everyone's in it together. We're all here because of a shared passion for something. And that's what it boils down to me is I want to be able to interact with people on a human level because I, you know, we make a lot of boundaries in life between each other when at the end of the day, we all came from the same place and we're all going to the same place at the end of this life. So we may as well be there for each other while we're in it. That's my end step. Show your love and show your appreciation for the people in life that matter to you and don't be afraid to express yourself and your emotions because it doesn't make you weaker, it makes you stronger. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We will see you next time. Uh, if you guys want, you can follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, and all that good stuff. I'll be back to the command zone and game nights as soon as I can, but I gotta finish making this movie first. And trust me, guys, ooh, it's gonna be awesome. All right, love you so much. Uh -huh.